All right, in this video, I wanted to give you guys my favorite deals of the week, including new sneakers that ended up dropping at retail, as well as some of the best sales that I found around the web. Now, this is just my personally curated list, so hopefully you guys are following along and enjoying the content. And if you've been to Collective Kicks in the past, I actually changed up the site a little bit, so it's actually Collective Kicks slash sneaker dash deals is the page. It's gonna be the exact link in the description, but for those that are used to just going to collectivekicks.com, uh, the homepage is a little bit different as of right now. I'm still messing with it, but just giving you guys a heads up. Anyway, there's a ton of new stuff available uh, right now that I'm really excited for. I have a couple of reviews of these coming in the next uh, couple weeks as well. So excited to bring you guys some of the content and some of the stuff I'm going to be telling you about. But this is, I guess, a little bit of an early preview for those people uh, waiting to see some of the reviews on some of these shoes. And I'll start off with... The first one, the Nike Zoom X Invincible Run Flyknit 2. This shoe is really incredible. One of the best comfort sneakers from Nike that they offer. And I'm telling you guys about it right now specifically because for some reason they discounted this model already. Like it just released and it's already on sale for $145 instead of $180. So really nice opportunity to cop a pair under retail already as soon as they dropped. Uh, honestly, it's a great deal considering it's a new shoe, but it's very, very comfortable. And I have a really nice deep dive video in between the first version and the second version in my review video that I will be posting pretty soon. The discount only works on the men's black and white colorway for some reason. I don't know if they thought it was the Invincible Run 1 and they decided to discount it, but it's it's crazy that it's on sale for 145 This is US only, probably, I'm assuming, out there. But if you guys want to buy any of these, I will link them all directly in the description of the video as well. But top of the list, though, this one I thought was a really good one to mention. So moving on, there's an Adidas sale right now as well d is us it's 15 percent off of 50 uh, 20 percent off of 100 and 25 uh, percent off of 150 i always use a filter and sort button and then filter by gender and then also by product like shoes and whatnot and then also by price so i get a just a general idea of what uh, is available out there but there's a couple good deals out there that i wanted to mention the first one is a brand new pair of sneakers again very excited for this one i need to get these for a review but the Adidas Terex Free Hiker 2 is actually released. I never even saw images of these, but they are available now. The retail is $200, but they actually work on the discount code as well. So they're only $150 for those brand new Terex Free Hikers. They also have a Gore-Tex version, but they look like a nice revised, revamped version of one of my favorite trail sneaker boots uh, of all time, pretty much. And that's the Terex Free Hiker. They've had such a long-standing run. It's kind of cool that they have a second version uh, available now. So on sale for $150 with code Save More linked in the description. Also, I just recently did a review on these, the Adidas Ultra 4D Forwards. Uh, they are 165 now, retail 220. Again, you get that 25% off of this one because you're spending over 150, uh, but really a, a nice pair of sneakers. And they're really comfortable actually. For those people that have tried 4D technology in the past, 40 forwards are like the softest and squishiest version of a 40 pair of sneakers on the market. And if you don't like the Ultra 40 version, you just want to try out the regular 40 version. They do have the turbo orange colorway that is available for 150 instead of $200 as well. The other colorways are exempt, but the turbo orange one is available for sale. Also, Adidas Ultra Boost 22 select colorways are available. I found it as low as 114 instead of 180. So for those people that are wanting that $100 shoe for back to school, that's a good option. It's a little bit more than that, obviously 14 bucks, but it's a great option on sale and the price is a lot lower than the $180 price point. And the one that I see that's really for sale is not a bad colorway too. It's kind of a sprite looking colorway. They also have a couple colorways of the Adidas Forum 84 Lows and they are normally $100. They're on sale for 80 bucks in two colorways. I'm kind of feeling the off-white red colorway that they have available, but uh, the rest of this stuff is sold out. I was telling you guys about them for quite a while and now all of those other colorways are currently sold out. So uh, at least we have a couple of options out there for 80 bucks, not too terrible. And for $88 instead of 110, you can get a Adidas Forum Low from Andre Saravia. I don't know how to say his name, but the dude is a graffiti artist and he has a really nice colorway of this. It's just like a super sleeper, uh, but for $88 on sale and there's pretty good sizes in that as well as he has kind of an off-white black superstar that looks really nice as well. And those ones are on sale for 80 instead of $100. It looks like he put his spin on the classic uh, colorway of Superstar, but both of them, I was like, I don't know who this guy is, but the collaborations look really good. And it's kind of fun that Adidas is, has like just these random graffiti artists that are doing uh, some uh, some collaborations. It might not be something super hyped up, but this is a good way to get exposure, getting something on sale. Then you follow the dude on Instagram and appreciate his work. And then you have a piece from his collaboration. That's why I'm personally curating those lists because these are the ones that I would be questioning whether or not I actually want to buy or not. And speaking of that, there is a Stan Smith off-white gum cloud colorway that is super fire. This is a Stan Smith for 80 instead of $100. 
but the colorway looks really good. I think it's the gum sole on the bottom that does it for me. Gum sole always works, right? But this colorway with the gray, it's very subtle, and I like this colorway a lot. Honestly, usually people are just going after the green colorway since that's kind of the classic, but this is a nice spin on the classic and definitely one that caught my eye. There's a ton more deals on Adidas website right now though, and it does stack on select sale items. Uh, so definitely just go out there and search around. I'll have the main link in the description as well. Try to find some sneakers on sale. Try to apply the discount. Some of them say excluded, but some of them do not. And you can get some nice stacked deals out there. So moving on to some New Balance sneakers. There is a bunch of stuff coming on their release calendar. Uh, I'll link it in the description. But you have a 9060 in like a black, white, brownish colorway that looks really fire. Then you also do have a refresh of 550. So there's a blue, a red, a pink a white and a black 550 and a triple black 550 even as well. So those 15th through 19th, they also have a New Balance uh, collaboration with This Is Never That uh, with the 2002R and that is on the 19th as well. So busy, busy collaboration dates. But for those that wanna just shop what they have available currently, uh, they have some crazy stuff. First of all, this hoodie is actually from the Made in the USA collection. Really dope hoodie and I have these sweatpants as well that I've been wearing, uh, the gray ones in some of my videos and stuff that I really, really like. Very expensive. Uh, but honestly, very, very nice quality uh, material and nice quality merchandise. It's kind of like a kit style branding, like almost with a Made in the USA collection because it's actually curated from Teddy Santos, who is the founder of ALD. So kind of cool that he's in charge of bringing all this cool stuff. Speaking of that, though, he has the 990 uh, V2 in an orange colorway. I don't know the official color. Super fire though, one that I plan on getting because it's just a nice colorway and it's not sold out yet. 195 is the price on them, so kind of high, but uh, honestly, quality materials and I love the 990 uh, V2. Also, Conversations Among Us, Joe Fresh Goods, the 574s, those are only 90 bucks and they actually have them available in a full size. We're on a New Balance's website as of right now, so link in the description if you guys wanna check those out. Great option for back to schools. I already called out in my back to school video, 574s are classics and uh, a Joe Fresh Goods collaboration on it. Come on, that's a pretty nice deal. Also, they have a red 990V3 and a red 990V2 that are super fire uh, that I really like from the Teddy Santos Made in the USA collection as well. I also just did a review on the 574 Legacy New Balance uh, Bodega collaboration. I got the blue colorway, the gold colorways there as well. Uh, 130 on those ones at retail, but really nice colorways, really nice materials on those. Definitely worth a look if you're looking for a pair. And then last but absolutely not least, they have one of the best shoes that I've tried on, and I'm spoiling it for my review, but uh, they are absolutely incredible, and this is the Fuel Cell Super Comp Trainers. This has the most ridiculous stack of Fuel Cell in the midsole. By far the softest and squishiest uh, New Balance I've ever tried on. It matches anything out there on the market. It's actually softer and squishier on my feet than even the Invincible Run, which is insane to say because Invincible Run's extremely soft and squishy. But these things are super good. And from a casual, I know it's a training running shoe, but from a casual, these, these things are monsters and definitely worth the price if you're paying for them. I know they're kind of expensive. I think they're, let me see, 180, I wanna say. Yeah, they're 180, so expensive. They have two colorways available, and they do have wide feet friendly versions, which is what I got. Super, super happy about that. Uh, but anyway, excellent shoe. For a comfort sneaker, it's gonna be a top five contender for the year for sure. Uh, you know, as the year is going on, there's so many new shoes that are coming out. This is one that I've been waiting on for months, and I finally got my hands on a pair, and they're they're absolutely incredible. So those ones also released from the New Balance front. So from Champ Sports, a couple deals that I saw. We saw the Asics Gel Nimbus 24, an incredible shoe as well for comfort. 136 instead of 160 when you use the code par August 15 gives you like a little bit of percentage off 15% but it's a really nice shoe 136 is a great price point it gives you kind of like the lower end price point for uh, the medium higher end performance they're really soft squishy because it has the fresh foam blast plus which is a better softer squishier version than the 23s from the year before also they do have uh, the Pegasus 39s, which I just reviewed, and they, those are incredible as well. Those uh, are 110 instead of 130 with the PAR AUG 20 code. So 110 is still better than 130, and you get your value in that shoe for sure. It's one of the best Nike like daily training racehorse sneakers, just all around great feel on feet. And then the last sneaker I wanted to cover, uh, which I have a review on very soon as well, uh, but the Nike Zoom Fly 5 with encased Zoom X. It's a Zoom X midsole, but it's encased in a carrier foam. But from a casual perspective, I actually have this shoe and they're really, really good. It's way better than uh, like what people are probably suggesting from the running side for the casual perspective. So runners don't seem to really like this shoe that much, but from a casual, it's a wider stance version than the fours. Absolutely way better than the three and the four versions of the Zoom Flies. The fives is definitely nice, complete redesign, but they are $160 for those looking. And the very, very last deal, Jordan 7's Black Varsity Red Citrus. 
sitting in a full size run on Nike.com right now. Retros are back. There's some of them are sitting out there on the website. I will link them. Some of them are restocked in the last couple weeks. I post them on Twitter and stuff when I get them. So follow me on Twitter if you guys want the earliest access to any of the information that I'm kind of posting in this video. It's in the description as well. At Hess Kicks is my handle. But leave a comment. Let me know if you found any good deals this week. Retail, uh, new finds, as well as uh, great deals on sale. But I appreciate you all for stopping by and watching. And again, if you guys use any of my links in the description of the video, it does directly support the channel. Uh, when you make the purchase, it actually gives me a small kickback and lets those companies know that you guys uh, rock with the channel and it is greatly appreciated. If you like the video, drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new, and hopefully we'll see you back for some more videos. All right, peace guys.